Hey, welcome to Vic Ferrari's Garage. Today we're doing a full flow oil system. Going to show you how to hook up your filter, show you how to hook up your cooler, and get all the lines in the proper locations and connect them to the correct ins and outs so that you don't have backflow back into your engine block and then dry startup. This system can hold in the nine feet of half inch line the cooler and the oil filter, it can actually hold three quarts. So if you are going to wait every startup for that three quarts to get back through the system before it hits your bearings, you may as well just take your motor out and throw it down the street. So let's just uh, go over this real quick. On your full flow oil system, your line comes out of the oil pump, goes into your filter on the inside. When it goes in the inside, not the inside, but the in outlet, you will be going through these holes on the outer part here. And that has a valve in it that pushes open with the oil pressure, lets the oil flow through, comes back out the center. The purpose of this valve is to keep the oil from draining back to the oil pan. So you're going to want to have that in the right location. So you're going to want to go in right after your oil pump. You're going to want to come out and run that line up to the lower side of your cooler. And what that does is it'll fill your cooler, but then all the gravity will push back down onto the oil filter and it will not be able to get back out because this valve shuts when the engine pressure turns off. So that will keep your oil cooler filled. I also add an additional upward turn because the oil doesn't want to flow uphill. Okay. Then this hose here is going to come down and it's going to return back to your engine, but it's going to return in on the way to the bearings and on the way to the valve system. And what that's going to do is, because those are all so tight with a thousandths or whatever clearance they've got, the oil's not going to be able to flow through them and go back to the pan. That's going to keep your oil system filled and every time you start it up, it's gonna be less than a second for you to get oil pressure. Otherwise, you could be up to 20 seconds with no oil pressure. So that's how the full flow system works. You should always mount with these two to the sides. You should never mount it with your lines coming out the bottom because it's always gonna flow back. That's a bad thing. If you can, you can mount them in coming in from the top because that'll help it. But this system will work great for you at any time. Now, the other thing I want to give a shout out to uh, another dune buggy guy who's got a great dune buggy. He beats the living crap out of it every day for at least an hour and uh, five to six hours on the uh, weekends. And it amazes me that it never breaks. So that shows you the durability of these things. But he did a cooling upgrade because he only has a small cooler and he's been running for years with no fan at all and no doghouse cooler and it still didn't burn up so any of you guys that are saying hey you're gonna burn up your motors they run too hot blah 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 he's running a turbo on a 1776 and he hasn't been cooling it for six years and it still runs great today after an hour every day. He lives on the edge of the desert, so he hops in his buggy, pulls out of his garage right into the desert, and runs the crap out of it. So these engines are durable. If you take good care of them, they'll last forever. But he recently added some computer fans that we came up with, um, and I'm gonna install that in this video. So thanks for joining us at Vic Ferrari's Garage. I hope this helps you get your system correct. Have a great day. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell. All right, Victory. There is my creation. Ran the ground over to the body. 
ran the hot all the way up and threw it onto the positive side of the, or the uh, on side. I gotta paint it blue. That red line looks kinda ugly, but that's it. Turn it on. Turns on my fuel pump. And turns on all of the fans sucking, just as you described. Does a decent current. Got them today, wired them all up, stuck them right on there against the, uh, against the, uh, uh, oil cooler and uh, set it all up um, cost me about $23 total after tax and everything to, to build it so anyways pretty awesome just drove it around town and it ran cold as can be no popping today nothing this just made such a huge difference engine ran smooth as glass the entire time it was the best drive I've ever had in this thing it's amazing anyways thanks victory bye